Hello, my name is Tomo. Today, I want to talk about what we, the art department, should be doing in 2021. I was the first in this industry to start using SketchUp 15 years ago, and now everything is done in SketchUp. I used to be a computer programmer before I started working in this industry, so I have been always obsessed with new technology. What would we be doing in the future and what kind of technology can we adopt to improve how we work? As a production designer slash art director, I'm very enthusiastic about adopting new technology, not only for the sake of what we design creatively, but also for improving our workflow and efficiency. I will talk about these four things. VR, AR, automation, real-time presentation, VR. So in the last couple of years, I had quite a few chances to design some VR contents and I also created some VR presentation of the set we are building for normal TV and web commercials. VR actually isn't big of a deal. It is easy to create if you are already familiar with 3D programs. It works pretty good in the pre-pro presentation for directors, producers, and clients. Everyone says wow, but I think that's about it. It is just a gimmick, but not really a game changer. AR, however, is big, bigger in my opinion, for the sake of improving our workflow. If you have a 3D model of a prop or a set piece that we are building, which we normally do these days, you can share the model using AR app and use it to communicate with other crew. Many times on the set where we are building some set pieces on top of some existing structure at given locations, like covering a big signage or adding a nicer ceiling above the existing gate, or in this case, replacing the old broken window at the location. AR makes it so easy for everyone to visualize what we are doing. This way of communication was never possible with construction blueprint and 2D renderings. Seeing it and moving around it just adds another layer of communication. AR also helps the designer to communicate his or her idea with other department by enabling us to see the set before we start building it. It helps us to decide where we should position the set in the soundstage, to discuss how much space we need behind the set wall, to visualize where the lights are going to be, etc. The DOP can actually walk into the set and try some camera positions. Microsoft HoloLens is getting bigger and bigger in the architectural field, and they announced that AR will be part of the Microsoft Power Apps starting from May 2020, which is next month. And new iPhones are going to have better 3D cameras on board in the next release. So AR definitely will be something we will be using daily in the next coming years. Automation. In old days, set decorators and shoppers' job was to take pictures of the props when they shop, and after they came back from shopping, they'd put together a document with a collection of prop pictures. Nowadays, we just say, take pictures and put them in a Dropbox as you shop. We are very used to communicating in real time using these mobile apps. Sometimes we even share the same folder with the production company and the clients so that they can directly see what we are shopping. Now we should move to the next step. Using the new app that I made recently, a set decorator or a shopper can type in the size of the prop in their mobile phone to the system and choose what kind of prop it is, where it should go. Then the 3D model of that prop just shows up in the master rendering in real time. So now a set decorator or even a shopper can remotely update the set rendering from a prop rental place or wherever they are, without going through any art director or a renderer. This can also be done by greenery person who can add some plants or by a carpenter who can remotely change the color of the wall or the shape of the molding. It can be done by anybody in the team. So instead of just sharing pictures in real time, everyone can now update and adjust final rendering and share it among the team. This is all possible when the 3D program can do what it's called the dynamic modeling, such as Rhino 3D. 
For instance, in this VR theater project, I modeled the whole building dynamically using Rhino 3D and Grasshopper so that you can fix the overall design and shape of it, but leave some parameters dynamic so you can adjust them later. And these parameters can now be changed remotely by cell phone. And that change will be effective in the presentation in real time. When we model the design dynamically, what it also allows us to do is to take the numbers and other information from the model and use them in order to calculate how much it is going to cost and how many trucks loads we need to transport the material in real time. That number can sync to my online budget spreadsheet. That is what I mean by automation. These aren't even the new technology. It's been there. We just needed to have the mindset that a lot of what we do now can be automated, especially this year where we have 5G network all over the place. Real-time presentation. In old days, after a meeting about art direction, we used to say, okay, I will come back with the design in maybe a week. These days, because we are so used to using Dropbox and SketchUp, we are expected to provide the plan with prop balls and set renderings from multiple camera positions in a couple of days, if not in hours. I have so many experiences as an art director where the designer sends me a couple of location pictures while he is at a scout with directors and producers, and he needs me to change that, add some props, lose something, cover something, and he needs a shot from multiple camera positions, and maybe another overhead shot and get everything done by the time they finish the scout. In near future, we will be expected to provide them in a minute. And they'll start asking us to make the presentation not on the paper or with keynote, but in the format where they can look around the design from different, different point of views with VR and AR and try seeing different color options, furniture options, rugs and curtains and walls in different colors in real time by swiping among them. Luckily, we can actually do that using all techniques I've introduced today. We are only about 12 months early before the real time ray tracing is possible for everyone. Ray tracing is the technology to produce beautiful and realistic looking 3D renderings. It used to take a couple of hours to render a scene, and now it is almost in no time. That is why I have been committed to using Rhino 3D with this rendering engine called Octane Render for the last six years. Rhino 3D is the best program for art department with dynamic modeling functionality, like I told you. And Octane Render is the only renderer that has the capacity to produce a great looking ray trace rendering with the VR and AR functionality attached to it. If you look at what it can do with new RTX graphics card from NVIDIA, we are like this close to the point where the real-time presentation is available for everybody. So please, please forget about SketchUp or Cinema 4D and move to Rhino. Forget about V-Ray, Maxwell, or Arnodo, move to Octane. Revit is oriented toward architecture too much. Unreal Engine is good, but doesn't produce a blueprint, which we still need. Rhino with Octane is the only way forward. Apple's ARKit and Adobe Aero are not good enough. Amazon's Mirian can actually create a real-time and interactive presentation, and it's something I'm working on and digging in my personal and experimental level. It is in the right direction for us, but it is still a part of AWS, which is Amazon Web Service. So it requires an IT guy like myself to manage the system, which is a little too big chunk of an asset to have in the art department, I believe. Maybe an IT guy for an art department can be the answer. Maybe, I don't know. But you don't have to be an IT guy. It doesn't have to be Rhino and Octane or Amazon's Marion. It doesn't have to be AR and VR. We have to be willing to adapt new technologies. Film industry in general is very slow to catch up with technology, especially the great art department. Now I want to talk about the COVID-19 pandemic. 
The United Nations announced that this pandemic will cause as much population and economic disruption as World War II. So what we will be seeing after this is post-World War III world. What I'm trying to say is that it will be a completely different world after this. It will never be the same and the film industry is never going to be the same as before. If I think about what so many of the art department, set decorators, set designers, shoppers, carpenters are going through right now, financially, our team may not be the same. Hollywood workers will not be the same. India as a country, for instance, may not be the same. Chinese money may not be the same. Cape Town, Joburg, South Africa may not be the production hub anymore. YouTube itself and how people watch it, YouTube will not be the same for both better and worse. So we are already in the middle of a big game change now. And we, the art department, have to adopt these changes. We used to say that CGI, the green screen, the post-production will erase all the art department jobs. That was true up to a certain degree. But the change that we are seeing this year is much bigger, I think. If you are a production designer, please ask yourself, when was the last time you designed a set or a scene purely out of your imagination and creativity? When did your creative ideas about color, about style, or about composition get ignored and declined by producers because of so many other dumb reasons? The design is being made not by someone's imagination anymore, but rather it is made through collaboration of many people due to the information revolution. So what we are doing actually as a designer is not drawing a great design on the canvas paper anymore, but gathering huge amount of information from all over the place, from all different departments and processing them as quickly as possible. 50% of our job now is project management and maybe the other half is the presentation and maybe 1% of design left. But if you are a designer who believes the power of the traditional cinematic design, instead of moving away from dealing with loads of information around you, we have to adopt the new communication and project managing technique and use it so that our ideas can take advantage of it and can be processed effectively through the collaborative workflow without being ignored. Maybe after or even in the midst of this pandemic, someone, somewhere, will start trying new things and start changing the game in our industry. As a designer who believes the power of traditional cinematic storytelling and is also equipped with the experience and the knowledge about new technology and project managing skills, I believe I can, and in fact I am willing to, lead this movement. So I was wondering if there's someone who is watching this video and have the same or similar thoughts. Please let me know, and let's do this together. I believe we can change the game together. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share this to whoever you think might be interested in the topic. Thank you, and please keep social distancing.